Hey everybody, Matt here with Team Crover at Remax Real Estate Services. Welcome to your first stats video, June 2018. Well, it's July right now, but we just got, it's gonna be about June because we just got the stats out. Um, I know Robert and his team like to reach out, Robert Crow and his team like to reach out to make sure that you, everybody was up to date and we wanna continue that uh, to his clients, friends and family that he, he did that with. So let's talk about it real quick. Before I go get into the stats, um, there in June 15th, uh, just last month, uh, there was a huge change in the way that we do business, realtors do business. So the big point is that there is no more dual agency, no more double ending, no more going straight to the listing agent um, to, uh, to buy a property. You do have to show up with your own agent. Um, these rules have changed. There's a lot of rules. So if you have any questions about the rules, just please reach out and we will uh, try to answer them as best as we can. Um, we're uh, the, all the realtors in, uh, in BC are right now are trying to adjust to these new rules. So, but we, we got them going. So here we have is what, what's called the snap stats. Okay. And you're going to have copies of this. If you want them, we're happy to share them with you. We have the real estate board stats and we also have the pricing benchmark as well, which is really quite interesting. It's a 101 page document, but you can dig right into your area and see what the growth has been in the type of property that you're interested in or live in or, or, or whatever all over the lower mainland. As well as Chandra uh, from my team, put this 10 year uh, graph together on the sales activity in terms of transactions. Look at, woo, woo, woo. it's like an erratic heartbeat, but that's kind of how the, uh, the market rolls, has been rolling over the last 10 years. And it's been sort of like that for like a very, very long time. We will happily supply this graph that Chandra put together. And yeah, so I have, all this stuff, so we have down, we have Vancouver, North Vancouver, West Vancouver, we have Burnaby, Coquitlam, New West, and um, uh, pretty much everywhere, anywhere that you want that, that you want here in the, in the Lower Mainland. We're happy to share these stats with you, but let's talk about it really quick. Let's just talk about Vancouver for starters. Vancouver attached market, inventory looks like it's stabilized, but the transactions have dropped off, okay? Uh, upwards to 20%, like in North Vancouver. That's going back to this. This is probably part of the cycle. According to this, uh, this is quite normal for the transactions to drop off. So we're seeing things sitting on the market for a little longer, like it takes longer to sell a property. The only place where there's an increase in inventory and transactions was the west side of Vancouver in the attached market. 5% increase in inventory, 3% increase in, um, in transactions, but a slight increase in days on the market. So 22% increase in days of markets, really no, no difference there. So it seems like it's, that's fairly stable. Now the houses in North, uh, in Vancouver, excuse me, um, the houses actually are on the west side is a buyer's market at 10%. I'm going right off the stats here so you can have this. 10% sales to listing ratio. So for example, 780 were listed, 79 sold, 10%. That's a buyer's market, okay? Anything essentially above 12% is to 20%, 22% is considered a stable market or balanced market. And then anything above 20, 22% is suggesting that over a sustained period, there'd be upward pressure on pricing, therefore it's a seller's market. Now, the one thing is, is that we've seen a decrease in transactions on the west side houses, 13%. We've seen a decrease in transactions on the east side, 30%. And that's also a 12% sales to listing ratio, meaning that it's a buyer's market. And then in North Vancouver, no change in the inventory, 10% decrease, slight decrease in transactions, 19% balanced market. 19% is a balanced market in North Vancouver. Now in, in Burnaby, for example, it's kind of a similar, similar story. Um, for the most part, we've seen a quite a decrease in transactions on the house side, Burnaby, buyer's market 10% with a decrease of 30% um, in transactions and 100% uh, increase in days on the market. So what does that mean? 16 days it was in May to sell your house and now 32 days um, um, uh, that it took for the sales. Uh, so that's a 100% increase. Now, but 10% sales to listing ratio, let's talk about this a little bit deeper. 527 properties came on. 55 sold so 10 percent sales to listing ratio that means there is like 12 or so months of inventory on the market so like i said you um you have all this and you can have a little closer look at it on the attached side in burnaby uh, we saw a 14 percent increase in transactions 
excuse me, 14% increase in inventory with a 12% decrease in transactions. 37% is your sales listing ratio. So still, you know, it's fairly strong. Things are turning over. Now that's when you're in that sort of price point or that sales to listing ratio. If you're listing a property, you got to look good and you got to be priced well. And then you'll sell. Then you'll sell pretty quickly. It's like a beauty contest and a price war. So in New West, we have uh, tons of clients in, in New West and not uh, on the houses side, still fairly, it's, this is interesting. So the houses in New West have been quite good. So a 5%, get this, 5% increase in the inventory, but a 26% increase, that's right, I said increase in the transactions. So um, we're at a 25% sales to listing ratio in New Westminster for the houses, detached home like a house. Um, which is telling us that it's a soft seller's market. It's kind of interesting that we saw uh, the transactions uh, increase that much. I mean, it's, it's 116 properties came on the market, 29 sold, 25%. So we'll see. We'll see. That's a little bit different than what this graph says, but, you know, who knows? We'll see uh, as we go into July. June's always sort of a, can be a funny month. On the attached side in New Westminster, you guys, 54% <clears throat> sales to listing ratio, fairly solid uh, um, seller's market, 5% increase uh, in inventory, 4% increase in transactions, you know, and if, if you could see this graph and what I could do, when you look at this, you can see it's incre it's been incredibly tight between inventory and like, you know, it's been like 100% sales to listing ratio or like everything that was selling when it was coming on the market there, not that long ago, like in February, you know. <clears throat> and then over to Coquitlam quickly, 13% sales to listing ratio with the houses, meaning that it's essentially, you know, it's just in a really soft uh, seller's market, excuse me, balanced market, almost a buyer's market in that particular case. Um, and then on the attached side, it's 34% um, on, and we've seen like a significant increase in inventory from Mar uh, sorry, April, May, and then June, it's stabilized a little bit, 11% increase in inventory with an 11% decrease. So in a nutshell, and sorry for this long video, um, we were happy to share all this with you if you want it, if you're interested in what's going on. And we, it's our favorite topic here at Team Kerr at Remax. We're more than happy to talk about real estate and try to get you all the information that you need. Um, and what I'm, I'm just skimming over all these areas. So um, you're more than welcome to have all this uh, information and you can dig it. And you can dig into it as well as new, new rules. So check out our website at teamcur.ca. This will be there as well as uh, through our social media channels. And if you have any questions, reply, uh, reach out, and we're more than happy to uh, try to get you all info that you would need and explain the rules. Uh, the rules would uh, obviously is the first thing that we need to explain when we're talking to, uh, talking to our clients and our friends. Anyways, hope you're doing well and I uh, hope you had a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon.